And then if all of you could just speak for a second, just in your normal voice. Yep. Yes. One, two, one, two. Yeah, exactly. For a second. Yeah, exactly like that. Test, test, second, test. Second. One, two. All right. And now let me just put, uh, I mean, uh, finish uh, with your token. I mean, uh, choose uh, whatever of uh, the three blobs for your hit points and uh, uh, total AC, etc, etc, like, and then we can start. Okay, cool. All right. So what was my total hit point? Bring up my... Click on it. Click on the, uh, the sprocket icon when you click on your token. And... Uh, for example, if you choose the green one, uh, write the, the, the maximum value in both uh, both tabs. Um, let's see, yours. Your hit points. Uh, blah, 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 point six hit points. Eh? Six hit points? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you have a D4, die, and uh, two from constitution, yeah, six points. So if you if you if you decide to choose like uh, the green uh, blob for uh, hit points, gotcha. To make it to make it look like a bar, uh, depletable bar, like uh, put six in both. Uh, six in both. Suppose. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's what and it for says, example, uh, yeah. Heart bar, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And AC. Can I put that in where it says power? Um, yeah, I use it for, uh, yeah, I use that for AC, but then I change it if you can change it if you get like a shield generator of some sort, like integrate into your armor or a belt. Or gotcha. So we just need to put an HP, AC, and that's, that's it. it. Okay. Yeah. We, we won't need like ammunition here because it's in the camp. Probably, probably, probably you will do some shooting, <laughs> some uh, training rolls and other stuff. Uh... Okay, cool. All right, so. Uh... It's just the two of you, your uh, party members are not here, they have no tokens, um, even if they join in, uh, join later, they can't do anything. Um, <clears throat> okay, so, uh, what do you want, uh, what do you want to do for this uh, session? Except the roleplay. Uh, do you want me to give you the... Um... Yeah, uh, just, just uh, uh, let's... Uh, I say we start uh, from basically our shuttle lands on... Our shuttle lands, we're just arriving. I think this will be a great, like, a way for you to basically introduce the camp and... Uh, setting. Well, basically, yes. Okay. So... <clears throat> <clears throat> Let me okay. And so you guys ready? Yep. I'm ready. Okay, let's start. All right then. Let's let's start the show. <clears throat> For the last week, you two, after meeting on the, um, the asteroid colony of Cav in a recruitment center uh, for the colonial militia. Um, 
and passing all the tests, you were assigned into the one team, uh, which you know that um, will consist of uh, at least four uh, team members. And it is a special ops team um, that is called uh, a fist team. That's a uh, forward intelligence uh, scout team, which, of course, um, is a special operations unit um, that um, acts behind enemy lines. Mm. It is a small guerrilla group. Uh, and, of course, you will have to supply um, steel supplies from your enemy, uh, including fuel, food, ammunition, spare parts, and, of course, uh, equipment. So far, you do not know uh, your other members, the, the members of your group. You have no idea who they are. Um, but each team is unique uh, because of uh, its members and their race and their uh, special um, specializations and their skills etc etc um, it takes the shuttle a day and maybe two hour two two three hours uh, to reach its destination which it's an um, undisclosed location it's uh, your recruiter uh, said that uh, you'll be greeted by um, uh, your handlers. Um, you will receive extra training. And this place is, uh, is to be called just the base camp. That's it. Um, you probably uh, spent the time while uh, in transit to um, examine the um, information which they gave you, uh, which is a uh, standard package, standard data package uh, concerning the uh, colonial militia operations and um, command structure um but it's it's nothing that you probably um do not know already uh, as you know like um each colony has uh, their own uh, units uh, both uh, units space born units and uh, ground units uh, the space the space units are called the Colonial Navy and the ground units are called Colonial Visha. They are all belong to the Terran Minarchy, uh, which basically each colony is, um, operates on their own. They are self uh, self governed, although they of course um, are um, part of the larger body, um, the Terran Minarchy. And um, so far, you, you've you seen a lot of um, clients, uh, the uplifted uh, Terran uh, races uh, on CAV, um, especially uh, there are a lot of uh, um, Anthropomorphic bunnies on cap, which is um, the the colony is known for like uh, the huge population of uh, bunnies, 
and recently a lot of them have uh, um, like applied for different uh, military positions in the colonial navy and uh, the colonial militia um, and they the colony is known for the special um, unit of uh, bunny scouts which is uh, acquired uh, almost a legendary reputation mm. and so your um, ordinary transport shuttle lands somewhere like uh, you instantly feel the gravity uh, it's it's significantly um, your bodies get significantly heavier uh, compared to the artificial gravity on the shuttle um, and for people who both of you probably uh, spent a lot of time uh, during your earlier life on spaceships um, this this place seems harsh uh, the gravity seems to be heavy not super heavy but really um, heavy and um, the um, The shuttle's um, rear uh, ramp uh, extends, uh, the doors slid open, and you feel the heat of this place. It really is, um, sounds and feels like a jungle. Uh, your senses are bombarded with a uh, cacophony of. Uh, sounds animal sounds and distant um rumbles like um volcanic eruptions and the heat um just after a couple of seconds it becomes like uh unbearable um of course after landing, the pilots have uh, deactivated the life support of the shuttle because it's not needed anymore. And um, you exit and you find yourselves in, inside of this camp, which you see on the screen. Mm -hmm. uh, you uh, pick up your uh, duffel bags um, with your spare clothes and other equipment and looking around you see a small the only uh, building like solid building that's made of uh, uh, metal uh, composites it's a uh, garage um, and it is open you see a woman leaning um, a very beautiful woman uh, blonde uh, with uh, green eyes, she, she's like she. She looks like she's uh, she's not. Um, pro probably she isn't in her early twenties. Probably like around sixty. But that's um, for the for for the human race. That's the new um, mid like mid thirties around around these these years. She's she's very beautiful, very athletic. She she's wearing like a, a light um, um, spacesuit, uh, which has um, uh, on its armor plating, which is really really light. Uh, looks at least from this distance, uh, she has like murals uh, painted all over it, and um, she's armed with. Um, two pistols uh, on her hips and she has a sword on her back um, it's uh, attached in some in a special sheath uh, which most vibro swords use 
so that uh, you can instantly unsheath uh, the weapon and strike. And um, next to the shooting range, because this camp, of course, has a shooting range, see an older uh, gentleman is uh, very beefy, uh, tall, taller than the woman. And he's, um, it seems that he's been shooting uh, because you see that um, he's, uh, he's, he's holding a um, uh, rifle, a uh, railgun um, rifle, and has a couple of slagged power packs around his feet. And um, after the shuttle lands, the pilots wait for you to uh, to exit it, exit the ramp. Uh, they throw a couple of uh, small smaller containers, um, and then um, without saying anything to to anybody, they just uh, fly off. Um, probably. Um, off somewhere to pick the rest of your group. You, you have no idea. All right. So let's see. Um, you could start with ex uh, with um, explaining to each other, like as a players, uh, how how your characters look like. Yep. So my character is Yuri Pavlov. Uh, he's like around six feet. He he has a mi military cut, but you uh, you can see that he he has a uh, black hair with bits of gray here and there, uh, brown eyes, and uh, he's um, really average average looking. Like uh, if you know, if he wants to, it would look like he like he can disappear in the crowd. He's um, he's not he's lean. He's not too beefy. He's not too scrawny. He's but he's well built. But he, he's like really average built, and he has a bit of a bl constant, a bit of a blank expression constantly on on his face. But he's um, and he's just looking at his surroundings, uh, trying to adjust to the heat and taking it all in very carefully so yeah that that's my character cool <clears throat> uh well my character is uh marson last name unknown um basically he's kind of an indeterminate age most people say he's midlife but since he doesn't know his uh biological age um he kind of it's really hard to describe exactly how old he looks. Um, he's got some gray throughout his uh, hair, and uh, he does have a bit of a beard growing. But uh, currently it's short as he's still growing it out. But you can tell that, you know, there's just been a lot of stress in his life since there's gray hairs everywhere. Um, he's about 5'8", um, and has a kind of stocky build but not overtly so. He's more of a dense looking wide shouldered character. Um, his face has kind of scars, some burns and stuff on it. Old, old uh, injuries that you can tell that he went through quite a bit. Um, his, uh, under his left eye, he has a bit of a scar uh, uh, that goes across his cheek. Um, the character's eyes are gray from the stress of his his previous life and um, overall he's kind of like not got a darker complexion but one of those complexions that you see from someone who's worked um, around radiation for a good portion of their life um, like with welding like from like welding uh, gear stuff like that um, he also uh, um, um, tends to always wear his pilot uniform, so oftentimes you can't see the rest of his body, but um, people kind of know he walks with just a slight limp as if he's uh, just been through a lot. So that's, oh, and also his hair is uh, 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 
brown in color, but speckled with gray all over. Right. <clears throat> Um, all right, so you uh, look around. Um, mm -hmm. The woman, she she nods. Uh, she kind of uh, friendly uh, waves. Uh, you see that she's she's holding um, a set of tools, and she she's uh, trying to fix uh, the front end of this vehicle, which uh, you have. Um, Probably never seen uh, such a vehicle. It's it looks both old and <laughs> new. Um, and next to it, uh, you have like a wheeled um, APC, uh, and uh, the APC has um, a point defense turret, uh, which is chip size point defense that it's, it's like taken from from uh, small small starships and it, it looks fine i mean it's um <clears throat> it looks probably a little bit frankenstein uh in construction like uh gobbled together with uh from pieces from uh, different uh, other vehicles uh but yeah it's it's you probably like uh seen uh a lot of those uh, but the the the, uh, the um, tracked vehicle is, is is something that you've never seen, and uh, it seems that she she's trying to weld uh, with her plasma torch and other tools. She's trying to weld a um, piece of frontal armor, um, and looks like busy, really busy. Uh, but the man he kind of uh, comes close, closer. Uh, nods, smiles. He has like a um, uh, short, bushy, white beard, and uh, his, his hair is white. White probably looks um, older than he or he is, maybe around 70, 75 ish. Uh, but he's he's really tough. He's, he, he he has the the, um, the look in his um, um, blue eyes. He has a very very like um, almost white like that. that uh, so blue that pr probably he he also had like a life uh, around a lot of radiation. And he also wears um, a spacesuit. Uh, but he remo he has removed parts of it um, because he's like um, <clears throat> he, do he does not want to to use his life support system and um, he he left his um, the power pack of the suit and like the back part with with the engines etc and uh, the shoulder <clears throat> the shoulder guards of the suit uh, his suit also has. Uh, very beautiful murals uh, painted on it, and from this distance you see that uh, one one of those murals is uh, him um, at a younger age, um, <laughs> depicted as uh, <clears throat> he and uh, this woman, this is the same woman, um, escaping from... Um, it's it's more like she's she's busting him uh, out. She's busting him out uh, from a slave pen, and they're like leading a revolt, a slave revolt, and they're killing some some aliens uh, who are trying to like desperately trying to stop them, and they're just mowing them down. And he steps uh, before you. He kind of slinged the the rifle on his back. Uh, the muzzle of the rifle is, is pointing down. He kind of uh, sl slinged it uh, over his his head. Uh, it's not over his his right shoulder, but on the other side. And uh, <clears throat> he kind of cracks his his uh, his fingers, and he's like, "Ha! Hello there, my friends. 
My name is Alexi. Welcome to the. And he does like a, a gesture with his his uh, right hand. Uh, the the camp. Da. Mm. They they call it the camp. So. Um. So you you um. He comes. He steps uh, before Manson. He looks you like. Is is your your um height? He's not that that probably a little bit taller because of the boots. He has like a really good uh, hmm. magnetic boots, high quality boots on his suit. Which he's he's uh, even though he's planet sides, he still he still wears them. He hasn't removed them. It's like okay, son. Uh, so. Uh, your name is uh, Manson? Da, Manson. What's your deal? Mm. Well, Marson, but... I'm here Ooh, basically... sorry, Marson. Yes, yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> he smiles. <laughs> he smiles. He's like... He, he looks really, really friendly. He's, uh, he's super calm. He's like... Uh, mm. uh, you, can see, you can see behind him, like in the, in the distance, uh, mm -hmm. Some some volcano explodes. Basically, he, he he doesn't even flinch. He's like, he's still smiling. <laughs> well, awesome. Well, well, I mean, my deal. Basically, I'm here to work and I'm here to drink. He raises an eyebrow. Is. In my file here, it says your pilot. Da, oh. your pilot. What do you drive? Drive? Well, I can drive anything, but mech is my specialty. He smiles. He's like, okay. So, you see, you see that uh, uh, that other human, and um, he points like. At his uh, his wife, obviously, says uh, she is unsuccessfully trying to fix the. So go and help her. Right see, away. See, see what you what you, what you can do. And he taps you like uh, on the shoulder and uh, um, pulls like a can of um, energy drink from his uh, side um, ration pocket. It's like a space um, uh, space energy drink with a, a <laughs> special like a straw that's designed to not spill the drink. It kind of gives it to you and as here you go. You'll, you'll need this. Uh, he whispers, the water is horrible here. Well, luckily I don't drink much water, but I appreciate the drink. And then I, uh, uh, wander off to go help the uh, woman who's welding on the uh, machine over there. Right. Okay, so he comes over uh, to uh, Yuri. And he's like, he smiles again. Says, oh, Yuri. So you're from Mother Russia, huh? He smiles. Um, so uh, Yuri has been constantly like looking at his surroundings. Like uh, it seems that he's fascinated. Then uh, he's a bit startled when Alexei like uh, steps in front of him. He looks lost in, like, when, after Alexis speaks, he looks lost in thought for a minute, then uh, suddenly there's a smile, uh, a smile appears on his face, and um, uh, and start, like, uh, on the, Marcin knows on the flight here, like, he, he hasn't been, like, particularly chatty, he's been mostly silent. But mm -hmm. now, like he starts uh, talking with, like this, uh, not carefree, almost carefree, but like uh, th th starts casually talking all of a sudden, uh, and uh, 
uh, he goes, well, my mother has always told me that this is where our ancestors come from. Uh, she, she has told me all, the good and the bad. He, and he nods. <laughs> oh, your mother. Mm. So, uh, he, he like looks at his um, hollow uh, file uh, and kind of waves a couple of times with his uh, fingers. Obviously, uh, opening like the side parts of the file and reading uh, some of the information down that you you have like from your uh, studies. Uh, obviously, you have uh, received some. You have passed through some apprenticeship uh, to become a, a, a doctor. And he looks at it, looks at the this, and says, he says, "Ah, a doctor. That's good." Um, Really good. So, you you are not married, I see. You have no no family. Your family is good. <sighs> Oi! It is the same shit everywhere. Almost the same shit. He looks you like this. What we can do today is uh, you can go into the big tent and uh, sort um, the medical supplies. Uh, check, look, uh, um, do some, uh, make a catalog because those boys over there, uh, they dropped a lot of uh, containers. They just drop them and they fly. I don't care what their uh, what their working ethic is, but that's shitty. So you know, feel all slav. We we do hard work, uh, and he looks like uh, over your shoulder at uh, your um, companion. Says, uh, and uh, of course we we after hard work you need hard drink so. We'll see how how hard he he can he can drink. Probably my my wife can drink him under the table. But he he like kind of waves his can. Doesn't matter. Still still fine. So go get go get the supplies. Uh, probably there are a couple of um, spore samples uh, on the table. You can uh, look at them um use your special skills or something i don't know uh and then i uh, will uh we'll see who shoots uh who can shoot good and he of course gives you the same type of energy drink uh the energy drink is alien it's not human by the way i i, I missed that uh it's um it's alien and it says uh if you if you have like um french speak yes it says uh super slime 9000 and on the back when you turn it around like uh you can see the uh the contents and it has uh, like the top content it says uh super concentrated a uh, wonderful slime um and it doesn't say like what uh what provided the slime or is it really uh, something synthetic or something really catchy to just to make people buy it you have no fucking but when you open it and like you you and when you uh, pull the uh the straw uh it kind of smells tasty so he goes back to the shooting range um starts preparing like uh there is um a backpack on the ground he starts pulling some spare power packs from it 
Uh, and um, let's see, Merson, when you go um, near the, the vehicle, he, uh, the woman turns around at you she's stunningly beautiful as like 99 percent of human women are mm. um she she looks at you she says uh uh nice to meet you my name is valeria and she like uh, gives you another set of sets of of tools prepare tools if you don't have have your own it's like Help me, uh, help me fix this. It's, uh, I mean, it's, it was shot to hell. And basically you can see a huge hole in the front alarm. Whoa, what put that there? She, she like smiles. That was a fucking PPG. You know what PPG is? Uh, f remind me. Let me see if you know what it is. So, <laughs> uh, you can roll a repair check. Okay. You see how Wait, how well how well you can uh, help her. Uh, basically, she has. Uh, you see that her her suit has an exoskeleton support, because otherwise she couldn't have uh, like uh, done anything on this 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 machine. Like all pieces of those pieces of those slabs of, of armor, like uh, probably one, maybe around. Uh, 12 to 15 centimeters um, thick and very heavy. Okay, okay. So, uh, pew pew. Help her. Like it's reasonably uh, easy to to uh, um, like weld plasma weld uh, a couple of pieces of mega steel. And fix like the the huge hole um, in in the uh, in the APC. Like this APC looks really old, but also it looks very new. Uh, it th the design looks old, but the machine is almost brand new. It's like uh, hmm. somebody somebody pulled it from 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 some uh, uh, clo enclosed uh, garage or a contain a storage container somewhere. Uh, found it uh, perfectly preserved somewhere. You have no idea. And she's like, uh, "You take it takes you takes you probably an hour." Uh, she uh, she asks you like some some uh, questions like, uh, um, "What can you do? How well can you shoot? Um, how how tough are you? How strong are you?" um uh, what's 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 your type like what type of women you like mm. um of course she she shows you a couple dozen of whole pictures of her daughters she has 13 daughters and Ooh. uh that, that, that that's normal that's um, normal and, okay and she's like uh it you, you you get the feeling that she's sizing you up she's like Hmm, that guy. Okay. Uh she says, okay, okay, that's good. So uh get get in the APC and uh, try to start the uh, start the engine. All right there. Let me just hop in the driver's seat. So I hop in the driver's seat. I uh and you should you should be able to roll uh drive. Drive. Let me find out where not drive pilot, is. Not, not pilot, drive. Mm. Where, where's drive? <clears throat> oh, I don't have drive. 
Uh, then roll a dexterity check. Dexterity check, okay. And during that time, Yuri, you, uh... Yeah, you started. It's kind of, uh... Everything is written in Russian, uh, inside the DPC. But, uh, there are, like, uh, letters around. And you can you, you easily find out what it is because it's a it's a human it's it's a vehicle built built by humans for humans, and you of course like uh, it's it's a cultural thing you know where obviously what this uh, this button is for probably and what this uh, the, the the drive wheel what the the pedals are for and uh, the. <clears throat> The buttons, the other buttons that are designed for like ch ch switching uh, between the different systems of the vehicle, you, you quickly find it out. Like f you figured it out. You're a person who builds stuff, builds machine. Like even though it's it's not a it's not a Mac. I mean it's it's even sim simpler. Like uh, it's built uh, it's built for uh, people who are not not uh, specialist pilots. It's built for soldiers. Mm. You start it, you can hear like the the, uh, the boom of the Tesla engine inside, um, and uh, she she says yes yes like force it force it. So I keep forcing the engine. You keep forcing the engine, and uh, suddenly you hear like. <laughs> And it stops. She's like, "Yes, you piece of sh And she throws like uh, a set of her her own sets of uh, set of um, of tools. She says, "We need to." turns uh, turns around and looks at her husband and Alexi. We need another engine. And she's like, "Where do you think we are? We have no engines. You shouldn't have pushed it." And she's like, no, I had to be sure. And she's like, ah, probably right. He's like, of course I'm right. <laughs> um, and she's like, ah, okay, okay. Um, let's go, go, uh, go shoot, shoot. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll think of something. And she she greedily looks at the other APC. It's like, hmm. and then, um, I guess I just kind of nod at her, kind of look at her a little bit, uh, with a raised eyebrow, <laughs> and then I kind of just like, without saying much, go wander off to go find Yuri and see if he wants to join me for uh shooting okay so yuri but uh, while well, he he was uh welding uh mega steel plates um fixing the armor of the vehicle you were uh, <clears throat> searching and um cataloging the supplies um how do you want to do it uh, very meticulously, like uh, slowly and meticulously. No, no rushing, making uh, making sure. When uh, I will, I will, well, Yuri will take his time to okay. to, to know, uh, and, and he'll st store the information in his his personal PDA. Okay. To... So, well, uh, then you take you take your time. It takes, you, it takes you an hour, probably exactly how much time it took uh, Marson to help uh, Valeria. And when he opens the tent, you kind of finish, you're, you're finishing, uh, you're moving the last crates, you're saving, you, you save the hollow list the, on a file in your PDA. Um, it's, it's, it's not something like super hard like they they do not have tons of supplies 
but you kind of see how many uh, um, med sprays, how uh, canisters of uh, med gel they have. Um, they have some some spare cyber tech, which is pretty limited. But uh, emergency uh, emergency pieces like a couple of hands, a couple of legs, and probably uh, one or two sets of hearts, livers, lungs, etc. Uh, maybe some artificial uh, nerve um, nerves and um, a couple of spare eyes. Yeah, some, something like that. Um, and then you see, like, they have a portable lab. It's it's nothing super special, like a, a very basic, the very basics basic of uh, of um, gear on the other side of the tent. And you have like two containers with some uh, uh, black, uh, black and red uh, goo in them. I mean, uh, probably goo is the, the 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 correct word. Yeah, goo. It's goo. Yeah. And on one of the the um, canisters says. Uh, Sample number one and the only sample number two, and the both are identical. Okay, can I first? Uh, can and I... when when yeah, you go, yeah. when you're like uh, looking at them, some uh, like enters the tent. So you, Mason sees Yuri. He's like crouching in front of them, like. He has a scanner in his hand, and uh, he, he's like lo lost in thought, and he's like uh, he obviously hasn't heard you approach. And so, in I my normal, <laughs> so my normal voice, kind of ignoring the fact that you might be uh, doing something delicate, I just say pretty loudly, "Hey, Yuri, want to go shoot?" Uh, like, maybe Yuri, Yuri is a bit startled, but you, you're not sure. So he, he, like, uh, stands up with, with, with the scan in his head, looks, uh, looks at Marcin, looks at you, looks at the containers, looks at you again. Close his eyes, like, and the, you, you can hear the tiniest of size, like, he goes, sure. We must neglect. We, we must hone our skills if we are to survive, I guess. And like, but but you can see like uh, behind the mask, like you can see he's really sad. He really wanted to <laughs> inspect the and uh, the, like uh, see what the, those canisters contained to figure figure it out. But he agrees and. The uh, nods and not not just Marcin towards the uh, the shooting range. Shooting is gonna be more interesting than this crap that you're doing, Yuri. <laughs> <laughs> he, and, uh, he, uh, yeah, Yuri just sighs and goes, "Yeah, may, may, well, maybe one day I'll be putting this crap inside of you. Who knows?" <laughs> I say, well, so, we go so shoot. you know, so so you can figure out what you'll be, what you'll be full of, right? <laughs> well, that may be so, but if we practice enough, then maybe we won't have to worry about actually getting hit. If we put the enemy down first, rather than having to rely on your skills. <laughs> hmm. A solid strategy, strategy, I suppose. <laughs> 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 So then, 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 uh, then, like, then I'll be, I'll be, I'll, yeah, then I'll be sure. Well. To, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, no, no worries, we're, we're kind of social invalids, both of us, like. <laughs> the dance of the social invalids. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is this shit? Ah, uh, okay, okay. Let's go so, weaponize our autism. Oh, yes. 
that 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 works every time. Uh, okay, so you you um you walk over the, the shooting range. It's um it looks new. Um, you walk by the tents. Uh, each of those tents, they they look like uh, they can uh, house two people in them. Uh, maximum, they are not like huge tents. Uh, and uh, stepping next to Alexi, he looks at you, looks at your weapons, and gives you a spare power pack. And uh, he uh, reloads his rifle and says, Ah, good, good. So, where's, uh, where's my list of supplies, Yuri? Uh, Yuri opens up. Uh, I, I'm guessing Alexi has a PDA. Everyone so, has a PDA. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm just asking that because you said parts of his suit are missing, but just asking. So he opens up his PDA and sends him the files. He looks at it. It's good, good. So we have here yeah, the basic medical stuff. We have uh, this and this and this. Huh. Okay. Uh he looks at you. Yes, I'm guessing you you had no time left to uh look at the samples. No, uh no. <laughs> Mar- Marcin is the opinion that the, that other things should take priority. He he looks at his PDA. Well, it's not like uh Anything bad could happen. He kind of shrugs. Is <laughs> okay. Start shooting. Let's see. Uh, shoot the entire the entire power pack. Uh, and see who's who's uh, like uh, start with single shots first, and then he he looks at uh, Marson. Ooh, you has a. Uh, you have a looted gun. That's that's good. Says I I hope the the person you took it from is kind of unalived, right? Pretty much, and then some. He nods. Good, good. So start with single shots first. Uh the targets. You can see it's it's uh, simple. Um a simple hollow targets they will of course detect each uh, hit and uh, uh we'll start uh, start training uh so he shoots one of the targets uh hits of course the the bullseye the center torso uh you hear like the the roar basically of his railgun uh and if if at all possible uh the 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 heat gets even worse um and um so roll roll uh roll one uh roll three uh single single shot attacks from your character sheets and oh, we'll see who sheets. is yeah of course like uh, click on the weapon tab weapon. <clears throat> yeah and uh, the, attack, the, snub, right? the snub gun yeah the center the center says weapon one full attack or or you could uh you could go on the, the stats tab and uh, click uh just a, a standard uh range attack because you don't have to roll damage but if you if you uh, if you want to train it, I mean, if you want to get familiar with the character sheet, you could click it from here. Gotcha. I'm just uh. It's your choice. Power attack button. No, not that. Okay, let's see. Who's, who's okay, what the hell? Ah, yeah. Good, good. That's good. That's good. So both of you hit the targets. <clears throat> Uh, Yuri is, is uh, 
uh, more like uh, he hits closer to to center torso and if you hit probably uh, the the um, the outskirts of the, of the target but you still hit it like it's it's a normal hit good hit he kind of nods again continue firing Yeah, good, good. This is better, Marson. Better. I aim to please and and for the targets. He chuckles. <laughs> and then I fire again. Okay. Yeah. Uh... So yeah, Yuri. You so 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 Yuri, like w when he hears uh, the, the pun, like sh shivers a bit and misses his target. <laughs> you, you hit like you hit the ground. <laughs> um, and he's like, no, no, this is this is not how you shoot. Uh, you you lack a discipline. Um, you mean? Uh, some people might say that uh, discipline comes from within, but I think it comes from the outside. See, Yuri, I told you we need to practice. <clears throat> Yuri... Uh... <laughs> uh... Uh, so, so, so you, you, you go, uh, you're just uh, with the black expression looks at Mars and, and goes, hmm, yes, the the constant distractions of the battlefield, I have to get get used to them. It nods. And he oh. says, uh, uh, and Alexis says, all right, uh, okay, Merson, you see, uh, I see that uh, you're... Uh, Snoop gun has, uh, has that special f super fun lever that says full auto. Could you switch it on, please? Absolutely. I click the uh, full auto on. Uh, okay, so you roll. Uh, you roll an attack with um, minus minus four to hit. Um, minus four. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's the standard when you click on the the, the full the the macro mm -hmm. uh or you, you can just like just roll roll the attack like um like i showed you last time yeah so it's uh flank zero because i'm not flanking yeah. power attack uh negative four right the weapon gives out the trademark sound pew 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 so basically, it's a pew pew gun. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh man. Just just as a little side note here, it seems like somehow the recording stopped like part way through. Oh, Shit. Really? Okay. Yeah. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. This is why we're doing it this way this time. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> I gotta uh... figure out why that is. I, I th I'm pretty sure I started recording, by the way. So. <laughs> uh, pro probably, probably. Um... Sometimes um, a recording might stop if if uh, there there isn't enough uh, memory. That's or, weird. I don't I got... know. No, no, it's 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 weird just because I was looking and I have it streaming into my uh, terabyte hard drive. So oh yeah, kind of like uh... <laughs> it's it's not it's not that it's something else. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just kind of like something oh else. man, because like we just started getting a group. Anyway, that, side note, yeah. Anyway. All right, I'm recording again. I'll figure it out in the end. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Anyway, uh, yeah. So I kind of like uh, smile as my gun's uh, smoking, and uh, just kind of like grin over at Alexi. And he's and like, he smiles. He's, he's like, can I see it yet? Yeah. And I uh, hand it over to your uh, to uh, sorry, Alexi. Uh, he looks at it and um, 
says, um, Ooh, shiny heat sink you have there. That's that's good. And he presses like the the button next to the po- power pack, like where you you reload the gun, and the slagged power pack like drops on the ground and like starts steaming because it's it's all, almost it's almost melted. And uh, he says, uh, "Yes, probably we we'll have to." Uh, you have to limit yourself uh, shooting on full auto around here. He says, um, uh, put it in this cooler. And he, he pulls like, um, it looks like an old, old beer cooler. Uh, he opens it, pops it open. You see like a couple of uh, beers and uh, bottles of alcohol. And there is a, um, the half, half of the, the cooler is full of, alcohol and the other half is empty and you can see that uh he he placed like a cup uh, a portable cooling unit which is is running on um most probably some solar power or something he says guy quickly quickly put your put your gun there it will it will uh, uh it will cool uh very very fast <sighs> and um let's see what shall we do um okay uh Romy, listen checks listen checks yep from your from the skill tab of uh oh of that's your right sheets yep Found it. Hmm. Um. So, uh, Marston, uh huh. Do you hear? You hear something coming from uh, the tent? And um, like uh, Alexi follows follows your um your head, and he's like. Uh, he's like, what, um, you want to go and, um, get me one spear mid spray and, um, because when he took the, the, the gun from you, he kind of touched the heat sink and you see that his, his hand is like covered with, uh, the nasty boil. Mm. It's like, uh, go and get me, uh, get me. One, uh, uh, one simple uh, uh, meat spray from from the tent. While while your uh, your weapon kind of closes it, closes the cooler, pulls the beer, of course, starts checking the beer. While you're running towards the the um, tent, but. What you hear, uh, you hear something like, uh, it sounds like, you're not quite sure, probably sounds like something breaking. Hmm. So I uh, kind of cautiously start approaching the uh, the uh, tent. And uh, so I don't have my uh, gun on me, right? He's got, got it over there, right? Yeah, it's okay. still cooling. But you so, have like your uh, melee weapon. Gotcha. So I pull, I, I put my hand on the uh, handle of my vibro dagger and pull it out and kind of start uh, walking toward the tent outside okay. of it. I, I kind of pause and then I decide to, uh, oh, I decide to uh, uh, attempt to uh, sneak quietly up toward the entrance. Okay. Um, do, I, do I have to roll for that? Yeah, move move silently. Uh, it's it's uh, also in the um, the skill tab. Move silent. Got it. Yep. Uh, yeah, you 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 kind of creep, uh, creepily creep, and um, 
very quietly uh, while still holding this uh, dagger of yours and like a pull aside the um, the door quote unquote of the tent and look inside and you see you see something see this thing uh you see one of the containers uh it's broken probably this is this is what you you heard you overheard uh broken on the floor on the ground basically and this this little blob this darkish uh, dark reddish blob of something uh it was kind of kind of crawled out of it and you uh and it it's it's morphing into something it's kind of uh um moving around uh and you see that um it touches uh, it it um, it's trying to touch one of the containers with uh, medical supplies. So I see this thing uh, crawling, and I uh, pull up my knife up to uh, into like a close combat type stance, and I immediately lunge forward to strike at the uh, at the creature. Okay. Uh, that's that would be a charge attack. Like you, you get plus two attack, and um, if you if you run towards it and stab it, or if you just kind of step and quickly stab it. But if you charge, it you will get a plus two bonus to attack, but uh, you will get a minus two to your AC mm. until right. until the next time next turn. Gotcha. But you could just yeah, but I'm just yeah giving you the 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 ropes here. Okay, well, I'm gonna do a charge attack on it then. Okay. Just because it seems how like my character would respond. So I click the middle button, right, for the vibro, right? Yeah, and uh, okay. just select um... submit power attack. No. Uh, no. Okay. Additional attack bonus. Is this the plus uh, two? Yeah, the plus two. Yeah. Okay. And then power attack bonus. Do I do the negative here? No. 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 Okay. It's okay. Just leave it. Okay. Full attack. No. Ooh, that's nice. So uh, you lunge at it. You slash with the viper dagger. Um, you hear like <laughs> you 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 cleanly slice it into. Uh, it kind of starts um, shaking, uh, vibrating with the same probably frequency with your that your vibro dagger like uh, uh, molecular thin blade vibrates, and it kind of <laughs> pops um, everywhere and uh, dissipates, like uh, evaporates basically, uh, and suddenly you kind of. Uh, you feel nauseated uh, because you you are like probably you you stepped in it to 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 slice it. Um, roll me a uh, fortitude save. Okay, that's from the first page of the um, the character sheet where it says stats. Yeah. Okay, first page from stats. Okay. Uh... Under the stats, you have the saves. And the first save should be your uh, fort. Saves. Yeah. Fortitude uh, save. Okay. Fortitude. Yeah. Uh, you inhale it and you kind of uh, vomit. Uh, you start Ooh. shaking and uh, you, you, fell on the, you, you fall on the ground um, unconscious. Uh, Yuri, Rom. Listen check or yes, listen check. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Nope, he's Yuri is busy like uh, talking to Alexi like uh, like uh, his gun. <laughs> How oh, exactly to call his gun? 
Uh, okay, so let's see. Um, roll me 1d1. Um, crap, crap, crap. Let's see. Why not? That, that's cool. Um, well, you you um like it's it's very it's some something very strange happens like it's some it's like something or someone um like nudges you in the like in in, in the ribs to to your left side and you kind of uh, turn around and you hear like um the sound of uh, something something breaking coming from from the tent. And you suddenly realize that uh, Marson should have been back here already. It's kind of a couple of like dozen meters away. It's not like on the other side of the planet. Uh, and of course, you know that the first container, the top container, is with the the med spray. It's like the easiest thing to find. Any anyone would have yeah, already returned. A minute, uh, a minute, probably a yeah. minute. It's like very strange, and you hear this, this, this sound. Cling. And I am going to use this. Duh. Okay, so yeah, uh, <laughs> Yuri your, your, uh, runs uh, over. He's not saying anything, but like from his expressions, like. If he has, <laughs> if Martin uh, <laughs> has uh, like um, has messed with the, uh, the, the 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 very well placed um, um, medicaments and organs and everything, so help, so help me. <laughs> so he runs into the like. <laughs> Runs into the, the okay. Tent. How fast? How fast you run? Roll me athletics check. Okay. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh, oh no. No. I got to he roll. Casually okay. strolls. No. No. You try to run. You try to run in just in front of the tent. Like you trip into something and you fall. <laughs> and you fall. Fall. Uh, uh. Just. Just like through through the door of the tent, like the um, uh, the entrance. And you fall, and you see Marson is like on the ground with a horrible facial expression. Uh, you you see uh, a small uh, like uh, um, poo, uh, a small like vomit um, that uh, he he uh, he kind of. Uh, uh, obviously fought something, and you see that uh, uh, the first container is is broken, and there are some 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 things uh, still steaming and evaporating in the air. And you see the second container has just been uh, broken from the inside, and you see you see you see something something black oozish. Uh, that's trying to to crawl uh, and and um, next to Marson and he's trying to consume his his uh, his left foot. Oh God! Okay. Uh, <laughs> Don't uh, make me lose my roll, <laughs> roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Roll initiative. Oh mother! Okay, you're super fast. Your 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 trained trained instinct, like, huh? so uh, Yuri, because uh, he's still carrying it, his laser carbine. Uh, he, he pulls it out, aims um, quickly, aims at uh, the, the the thing, the creature, and uh, fires at it. Fires a, a single shot at it. Okay. Oh. You miss it. Um, well, it it um, it kind of moves aside from the beam, and it kind of uh, splits almost into line around the beam, like it forms a a donut shape, uh, and you hit the floor, and you kind of melt a, a hole uh, a hole in the soil. 
glass it basically uh pieces of of, of soil fly fly around and the thing kind of lunges at you uh let me see your ac is 14 right yep okay uh... it lunges at you and it hits you uh it hits your leg it uh kind of uh, ignores Marson. hits your hits your leg and it's it's currently on top of Marson. <laughs> and Marson, you can you can roll an for you say i can roll 40 wait which one yep. okay four two Fortitude. You wake up. Uh, you suddenly wake up and you see this. You feel at first. You feel. Then you smell it. Then you see it. Uh, this this uh, blob of of something. It's uh, like on top of your chest, and you are still like grasp uh, holding the uh, the knife, the vibro dagger. Uh, roll me initiative. When you click on your token, you can see there is a um, semi-transparent button on the right, left. left top of the the screen. It says initiative. Left top, yeah, I see it. Okay, okay. So, uh, well, the thing actually hits, um, extends parts of it, part of it, and hits Yuri in the leg. Uh, you see so a part of his his um, his armor is is um, not damaged but he feels like an electric jaw he's like <laughs> minus two hit points how many <clears throat> minus two hit points no no that's uh, for Yuri oh you. oh okay and uh then it's you that thing is still on your chest, by the way. Oh, I uh, swing the knife upward and try to slash the weird, creepy slime creature. Okay, so when you swim, swim the knife, it's uh, it's kind of hits you back, but. Let's see if you you uh, you hit it. Roll, roll that. Um, yeah, yeah, you hit it. Uh, you hit it. It kind of uh, splashes all, all around the tent and you and Yuri and uh, both of you roll fortitude saves. Fortitude. Okay, Marson, you 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 are kind of uh, uh, full unconscious again. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> no, because basically, probably some some of the fumes like get get inside of your mouth because it's all over you, and you try to slash it over your chest like uh, on the ground. Um, and uh, you you kind of uh, fall to your knee, but you manage to to uh, not vomit your guts. Uh, you see, you see, Marson is is rolling on the floor. Yeah, he again, uh, he, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Uh, your drugs uh, grabs Marson uh, <laughs> by the hands and drags him, drags drags him out of the tent in front of the tent. Still like, you're still like coughing slightly, lightly. Uh, then he um, uses his uh, quickly uses his scanner. To to see if uh, he can better understand what's with him, and then he will use one of uh, 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 his injector to to heal um, Marcin. So first, I will roll your computer use check. Okay. Ooh. 
Uh, he's he's inhaled uh, noxious fumes, which cause vomiting. And um, if if you're like uh, if you inhale too much, you might temporarily lose consciousness. Uh, but it's not it's not like deadly. Uh, the problem is that when you scan the the, the stuff, the um, residue from this, it's um it's some some um, form of life which attacks by use attacks by use of uh, um, electricity, static charge produced from its internal uh, cell division, etc. Uh, and you you notice that the thing is almost immune to to uh, to fire. It's probably lives in in a volcano. Or um, you you have no name for it. You can you can call it um, however you you want. Like it's a, it's it's something that you you see for for the first time in your life. Probably you're you're the first scientist who ever sees this this life form. But it's it's dumb as as hell. It's like um, uh, it's just just a, a clump of. Uh, uh, Silicoid based uh, cells. Fascinating. Uh, so, first I will roll my treat uh, injury. This is plus two, so it's 13. Okay. You wake him up without without having to use like yeah. Uh, yeah. the injector. And Alexi is like, what the hell is happening here? He looks at the tent. Nothing. Nothing is destroyed, except like the the hole in the in the earth, like the the glass piece of, of of ground. He's like, mm, well, yet should teach you, uh, Philoslav, something, and that should teach all of us something. He turns around. Valeria and his uh, his wife like uh, comes out of the garage and he's like like honey remember those samples you took she's like yes yes like uh they just tried eating our recruits and Valeria is like what you are kidding me! He's like, no, no, I'm not. You, you very well know that I don't kid. I mean, I make kids, but I don't kid. <laughs> he's like, do you see this? He's, he's like, this young man is is Sheka. She's like, nah, he's alive. Ah, god damn it. And she she goes back in uh, in the garage, and his his eyes like yet ah, woman. When she gets around like uh, machines, she kind of, you can't pull pull her away. It's like uh, you guys. Uh, you guys go back to the to the shooting grid and uh, I will to I will uh, clean this. Uh, okay, I see that. Uh, Am I still unconscious? Oh uh, yeah, no. you you have. Woke. Okay, so Yuri Yuri woke me up. Yep. Yep. Okay. All right, so then I'm kind of like holding my head. And, uh, I say, <clears throat> man, haven't had a hangover in, like, a decade. Feels great. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're just looking inside of them going, fascinating creatures. Fascinating indeed. What the hell were they? Hmm. Well, it's some sort of uh, indigenous life form that seems to uh, 
um, produce its own electric charge, electrical charge. Well, at least they explode when you knife them. Yes, like uh, uh, Yuri Shexi said. Yes, sad, sadly, well, <laughs> we did. You sadly you did because I didn't uh, actually <laughs> kill. <laughs> so he, he like he has this a, a bit of a sad expression on his face. Uh, and then I kind of look and she's like, "Don't worry, I'm alive. That's all that matters." Come on, Yuri. Let's, uh... Wait, what were we supposed to do again? I'm still... <laughs> <laughs> totally half out of it from that crap. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, Yuri goes, just to drink the energy drink. It should, it should make you feel better. So uh, I, uh... I, uh, crack open my energy drink. And then I, I drink the energy drink. But not like a normal human being. I chug it, and it drips down my face. <laughs> and, uh, overall, it looks like basically I'm, like, uh, probably, like, just completely wasted downing, like, another shot of tequila or something. Uh, it's disgusting, well, is the point. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Yuri, Yuri just looks at you, like, he cocks his head to the side, fascinated. Uh, and goes, you wasted some of it. I kind of look at it, wipe it off my face, and lick my fingers off, off my suit. Which is even further disgusting. <laughs> you, you, you is, yeah, but uh, <laughs> some went into your, into your beard, into your beard, so... <sighs> wasteful, wasteful. And goes inside, actually, he, uh, Yuri wants to collects the, the samples. He doesn't want uh, Alexei to destroy them. He wants to study the bodies. Yeah, you can't study anything. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, all right. So we got we got our um, our um, <clears throat> our third player. Yep. I will move the token. Because I, I moved it, but I forgot about it because um, magic. Magic. It's oh, and magic. I figured out what the problem was earlier with the recording. Uh, Operator it's error. Magic, you know. Huh? The man behind the screen, Dave. Yep. Hi, boys. Hello. <laughs> hey, yo. So most of this is just going to be me putting my character together because I've had like no fucking time to do any of that. <laughs> That's okay. Right, I accidentally. Just, yeah. yeah, I accidentally turned the recording off halfway through, like when the middle of when we started getting a decent <laughs> groove. So we've we've all yeah. been very successful today. Well, actually. Well, hey, that's 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 what the point of session zeros <laughs> like this is: work out the kings, figure out schedules, all of that kind of stuff. Make sure my hot Click keys aren't. Stuff. Make sure make sure not to die, eat and buy. Uh, uh, <laughs> crit range zero creatures. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's basically um. I got uh, attacked they, by electric yeah. langes. Well, actually, I don't know what the creatures are, but they are silicon, so I'm assuming that's what they are. <laughs> it's it's something. That Damn! I just it. realized my character knows a lot of languages thanks to all the free shit he gets from being you. Yep. Oh shit, I forgot to pick languages. That's, uh, that's, that's something that, uh... This is something, yeah, remember we talked, I think we should all pick the special operator. It's really important. Language. That's so important! <laughs> important. Yeah, I, I, I like agree on the specialist languages, the, uh, sign language. <clears throat> yep. The spe spec of sign language, because I, I think it's basically... Like, if we're, uh, 
<laughs> if we're in the Spec Ops team without the and don't know the sign language, it's kind of, uh, I don't know. It. I think we should we should all have it. and also we basically don't have to speak. We just have to see each other to communicate. Yeah. You have to be at this invisible range. Well, yeah, but I mean, um, if you're like. 200 feet away and you're yeah, trying obviously. to... Yeah, no. obviously. Obviously, but uh, we don't have to use our comms. Yep. Also, our sniper can actually... <laughs> I can actually... We can... <laughs> if our sniper is 200 feet away, he can actually see us. Yep. We want to say. Yep. So, it's still... A viable strategy. Okay, so, yeah, we were just uh, role-playing playing our characters so yeah basically the, they did some some uh we did some role play and they, they met the two other occupants of this base camp which is called the base camp this is an undisclosed location um where the um, the recruits of this uh team this uh, forward intelligence scout team will gather and train for <sighs> at least two months and then uh, you'll get deployed on your first um, first operation which is probably going to be equipment related because you you don't oh have yeah you don't have a shuttle you need to get a shuttle and you will probably need to get some sort of a vehicle uh if if valeria manages to fix that goddamn uh, <laughs> <laughs> apc uh but it the, the apc lacks a turret it lacks a weapon basically so it's it's just an apc uh the the cool thing about that that a apc over here in the garage is uh is that it's it's amphibious but it's a light apc very fast you can shoot uh it has ports uh, shooting ports uh, which you can shoot from inside with your uh, infantry weapons. Um, and enjoy the the cool armor protection, quote unquote protection um, of the hull. But not, not over enjoy it. Do not over enjoy it. All right, so uh, let me see. What do you need to do? You set your hit points. You need to get the saves. Uh, copy paste your class abilities. Pick feats. I think your equipment. I think I gave your equipment, right? Yep. Okay. Well, yeah, you gave me the the two weapons, the yeah. armor. That's that's the basic stuff. Is there any? Do we have any extra cash to buy anything else? You uh, you don't have like basically this this uh, equipment is is purchased just this just the starting yeah. loadout. Yeah, that... yeah, the starting stuff. Uh, they you will have like uh, in this camp. By the way, in this campaign. Uh, it is uh, the setup is is uh, the setup of the camp depends on you. Um, you can use that lot to, to build stuff. For example, you can uh, call in for um, a small small arms merchant, quote unquote. This is not a merchant; he's a smuggler. But yeah, you get it. It's 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 someone whom you can uh, haggle with and um, 
uh, buy parts for weapons because we have a fucking engineer who can she can craft you stuff or you can sell them stuff use use the looted money that you've taken from the corpses of your uh, enemies and buy special shit or kind of uh, order for example you want to to get like special armors uh, with like um, for example a set of four Tazaran armors and uh, you want to dis use them for these guys and infiltrate some base somewhere with these armors and uh, and the smuggler he will provide them for you for a price okay i'm just giving you an example um you will have like the, the second thing that will probably be over here uh will be the landing pad for your shuttle which you will have to pro procure quote unquote yourself um and there is space for a couple more um, buildings um, over here, which everything is because you're on the um, you're on a planet, a jungle planet, very tiny planet. Uh, it's not like a huge camp. It's supposed to be a very tiny camp. Um, each uh, team has uh, one camp which is their own camp and probably each team is uh, on a different um, set up on a different location because if all the teams are in one location when the enemy counterattacks and the enemy will probably counterattack um, no you 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 uh, this, this is important guerrilla tactic one on one you know you know build all camps you know uh, all uh, you know put all, all eggs in one basket so this will be your camp uh and of course in this camp uh all of the npcs that um uh, run uh, the different buildings that you'll order will live with you and interact with you uh you can form like uh, special relationships with them um and of course if you want like uh let's see that garage um you could try and upgrade some of the buildings probably since you have like a mech pilot uh you'd want to to um uh to have like um either remove one of the vehicle and um they will probably remove the vehicle you could build a mech pit for your power armor uh but if you want like something um for construction like um with work benches and something uh other tools that you'll be able to uh build stuff on your own you'll need to build an armory the armory has uh, workbenches for and tools for uh, craft uh, ammunition, uh, craft weapons, and craft armor. I mean, infantry equipment and heavy infantry equipment. And you can also build uh, with the weapons for the power armor, the armor for the power armor, and other stuff for the power armor. Um, so, <laughs> probably, probably something else like. Hail Caesar! <clears throat> Thank you. <clears throat> that one was good. Nice. Uh, what else? Uh, Probably quick, a quick medical question. Uh, I think. Quick question, Eric Mar. You were mentioning, I think, when we talked a couple weeks ago, you had mentioned, I believe, we also, on top of any additional stuff we get from being from whatever race we are, we get the choice of an extra additional feat. Or stat upgrade, right? Yeah. Perfect. That's part of your training. You can use it either for a stat point or... Let's see. 
What else? Um, so basically what, what the, the camp has right now, just a plain old garage with nothing, a couple of tents for the personnel, uh, one storage tent, which is uh, over here, with a uh, simple um, set of uh, medical supplies, just uh, the, the bare necessities. Um, and one uh, very, very basic lab um, for uh, examining stuff, doing some uh, material analysis. And then you have like a fuel dump over here, which is necessary for any such uh, location. And will probably be the first target of any enemy. <clears throat> and you have an observation sensor tower over here, which is very tall. It's um, uh, covered with uh, um, special um, camel, um, chameleon uh, cloak um, weave. Um, is basically wrapped around the, the structure of it, and it already took the the color and um, you can see it from your side because you can see this, the um, the ladder, but uh, when you look it from the sides, it's like it looks like part of the the scenery, basically. And it's rather tall; it's uh, it's around like. 60 feet tall so probably someone with a scanner on top of it will have like a very good um observation uh range and sight someone with a sniper did you already uh work on the backstory for your character dave or are you like starting from scratch here I've got the bare the bare bones basics of it. Yeah, he told me some some of it. He can uh, can share it with you. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to get some cookies. Um, because I've eaten my last cookie, I need to get my more cookies. Just do me that. See you in a sec. So. Give me a minute. So how you doing, Dave? Doing all right, considering that I've been leapfrogging between being sick to being sick over and over for the past two and a half. Oh man, we're gonna have to get you some like really, really good OJ. I've been buying so much OJ juice and drinking so much. Drink. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. <laughs> I I do that anyways because I love it. Fucking amazing. Well, I mean, you're in California too, right? That's right. Yeah, so you got access to the good orange juice out here. Uh huh. You know, I'm not gonna try not to crunch because I just realized that microphone has some settings that probably make that really loud. Uh, uh, that's not you guys. I got you guys all pretty well controlled in terms of your volume right now. I nothing. I haven't heard anything that sounds too loud. Yeah, okay, that's so good. No worries. Yeah, we were uh, mentioning in the beginning that all the uh, microphone settings are going to be different. I, I already have like a crazy setup where I'm running this through Adobe Audition to enhance my voice. So the cables I usually could use to run Discord on a separate channel, I don't have. So everyone's on the desktop audio. So I'm just going to see what I can do in post when I... I mean, th this is just me going to, I'm just going to be playing around with the um, editing. Fiddle with the afterwards. equipment, figure out the settings you want, all that yeah. fun stuff. Yeah, that's pretty much what this is about here. Considering how long, I mean, I don't even know how long, but I set the hotkeys up for OBS for the number pad, except whenever I am trying to fill in the information for 
attack rolls or whatever rolls, I'm also using a numpad. So <laughs> that's where that problem happened, where the recording turned off. Yeah, and my scene <laughs> switched. So yeah, that was yeah. I I gotta get a better rhythm there, cause. Whew, yeah, that's why we're doing this. Yeah, but so far, me and me and uh, um um Zuviel, we've been uh we've been uh trying to feed basically slime mold. <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> I did pretty bad. Zuviel did pretty good. Yeah, you so killed, I, so you killed two of them. Yeah, so I had heard. Well, I mean, <laughs> I, I killed them, but technically they almost raped me, so. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, go we're going a little Star Wars Rogue One with it, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Little, little tentacles, a little bit of mind. Yeah, 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 Rogue One is when they went hentai on us. <laughs> yes, what? they did. What? <laughs> when, when did it... What is it? In Rogue One? What is what is what, what they, is what is this Rogue One thing? I've only watched it once. So. Star, the Star Wars movie, Star Wars Rogue One. Yeah, uh, it's I, I was being that. sarcastic. <laughs> yeah, with fucking. Uh, well, hey, dude, this 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 is the age of uh, shit lords shit posting and pose law. You can never tell anymore when someone's being sarcastic. <laughs> I think um, we can settle that we all are pretty. But yeah, it was uh, <laughs> the the scene the scene where the tentacle rape happens is when fucking Forrest Whitaker gets that giant octopus to start probing that imperial dude's fate to oh, rape his mind. God, yes. And then, and then when he's just magically okay after they're like, "Hey, dude, you're the pilot." Oh yeah, I'm the pilot. Like nothing fucking happened. That's called hack writing. Yeah, I, the, the, the nope. Rogue One was the one that I'm like, okay, I'm officially done with the Star Wars movies. I'm, I, I don't, I don't care. Like, okay, like, so yeah, um, <laughs> let's let's not let's not say 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 uh, we, we 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 don't don't say the name. Um, okay, so uh, you spend. Uh, you spend a couple of more hours cleaning the tent, resting. Um, Alexi helps you, uh, and um, you see the shuttle comes again, and uh, this time drops uh, drops two more people. What's that? Okay. Sorry, sorry about that. Yeah, no worries. It was more crap that my niece left down here. Sorry about that, guys. So, the shuttle drops off two more people. Uh, one is a woman, and because I don't know how she looks like, I'll just say that she's a woman. She's a human woman. She, uh, her bio picture looks really, uh, space wizardy like, not, not like engineer like, but doesn't matter. Um, and the second person that, uh, walks on the ramp in the shuttle is basically the same, same shuttle, probably that, um, they grabbed the the other part of your uh, team from somewhere else and ferried it, ferried them here. Um, you have you have an idea how your character, right, <clears throat> Edmund? Yep. Okay. So you um you step. Uh, um, you kind of exit the shuttle, you're carrying your uh, luggage, your duffel bag, your weapon, and you look around and you see this hot, hellish jungle uh, with multiple small volcanoes erupting in the distance. Uh, the entire planet is, is abuzz with uh, the sounds of thousands of things chasing each other, eating each other, raping each other, 
um, doesn't matter, like it's um, around the camp that you see over here. Uh, probably something is keeping them away, because you can you can hear a lot of creepy crawlies uh, moving around the the, the jungle, um, and it's very hot. It's really hot. It's like it's like an, an oven, humid and hot, just like Carolina. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, and you see that this camp, this it's a, a bare bones training camp. Um, it has a shooting range, uh, and it has a uh, field dump, some uh, storage over here, storage tent, a couple of living tents, and a small garage, which is a deployable structure like most of these structures uh where whenever like terrans go and try to build a new place they have a lot of deployable stuff which they can just uh, drop hillary oh. clinton approved the what is it hillary clinton approved uh who, who, I, who mean is... if it, I mean if it if it's deplorable <laughs> Deployable, not deplo <laughs> Oh, deployable. Okay, that makes me sense. <laughs> because I don't think I don't think that uh, a person like Hillary Clinton she, she would survive here. She she would have. No, survived. no, she wouldn't. What are you talking about? Just got like... attacked by two of them. <sighs> <laughs> okay, we're calling it. It's the Clinton. It's yeah, okay. it's, it's, we're calling the picture the Clinton. Okay, the it's Clinton. a Clinton. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's a Clinton. All right. <laughs> you'll you'll have to work a Clinton. I will log it like when when we can like uh, we have a uh, uh, connection to the uh, to the extranet. I'll just. Log it, uh, like, uh, or send it to some magazine or a museum or whoever catalogs this stuff. <laughs> and it will be known as the Clinton. Okay. It's like those that, butt that. monsters from uh, uh, Dreamcatcher, where they call them Ripley's. <laughs> yeah. I thought in Dreamcatcher they called them shit weasels. <laughs> I mean, they had a couple names, but they also called them Ripley's, too. Jesus. I forgot about that. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Oh, yeah. All right. So, <laughs> uh, Edmund, you look around. Silent com uh, female companion just uh, uh, walks uh, walks around, looks at the vehicles. She smiles, like sports a huge smile, and uh, basically runs. Mid run, she pulls a set of a set of tools and uh, leaps like a predator. Basically, leaps on top of the one of the machines. The the, the first broken NPC uh, APC it just uh, starts tinkering with it, and you can hear like the the voice of uh, another woman. It's like, uh, what is happening? She, she's like, oh, you look like an engineer. Can you see this ENG? And like, you, you can hear like um, welding sounds and uh, um, a metallic um, uh, parts like uh, grinding, grin, grinding, grinding against each other, etc., etc. So grinding, grinding. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's the sound of the sound of work. So. Uh, this, this guy comes out of this tent, of the storage tent, together with those two, uh, men. And he comes closer, kind of, uh, he's, he, he looks around 80. Um, that, that, that's, that's like a mid, mid, mid age. For the humans, like they, they live around 150 years. 
by the way. With uh, with the advances in in medicine and uh, the the gene um... genome splicing and all that. No, no, it's not splicing. It's uh, basically uh, modification. No, it's that was that was the word I was looking for. Restoration, basically, because uh, the the human genetics were they they found that uh, different uh, probably culprits um, had damaged the the human, uh, human um, were damaged by probably aliens. Uh, nobody sure, nobody can can uh, know one hundred percent. But uh, human genes were purposely sabotaged, and that's why uh, people had such a short li short lifespan, and they had a lot of uh, hereditary diseases. Some of them came from from um, improper mating, and others came from this this uh, manipulation, genetic manipulation. And uh, after they fixed it, like they, they healed like ninety percent of the problems in here in our uh, realm, quote unquote, we suffer from. So yeah, he he looks like mid middle aged, um, very tough uh, looking uh, man as uh, wears a partially assembled spacesuit. Which has a beautiful murals on it, and the, the 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 biggest mural is like him and uh, a woman, a very beautiful blonde woman. Um, they look significantly younger on the mural, uh, and they are uh, she's busting him out of a slave slave enclosure, and they were uh, they are attacking a bunch of aliens and uh, mowing them down with um, laser weapons and <clears throat> if you've read some some of the the fluff you know that only spacers uh, paint their spacesuit it's part yeah. of their culture uh, so he he stands before you and like uh, looks at you uh, opens one of one of his own so his PDA and it's like oh the sniper, the you top your top marksman, right? Well, that's what they say about me. He nods. He's like Edmund Glass, charm. He reaches a hand out to shake. He 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 hugs you. He, first, he of course he shakes you, he shakes your hands, then 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 hugs you. He's like, good, good. This is excellent. I. Uh, uh, one of my six brothers is a sniper. He's like, uh, he's uh, somewhere. He kind of looks around the stars, uh, which some of them can be seen, even though it's it's day time. He's somewhere, shooting, killing people. It's like, uh, well, that is what we're good at. It's like. Uh, all right, all right. Let's uh, let's see. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, throw throw your, uh, your bag in uh, one of the tents and uh, come with me. Um, uh, let's uh, climb that uh, tower here and see how good you are. You sniping one of those hollow targets over there. And he points at the. Yeah, of course. He will not call. He will not send a sniper next to the targets. <laughs> <laughs> that will be him. no, no. And he's like, uh, he he pulls um, an energy drink uh, from uh, his second uh, tie pocket. Um, it's a space a bottle, which is designed to be uh, drank in uh, zero G if need be. And it says, um, uh, in French speak on the, um, on the, the can, it says, uh, uh, Super Slime 9000. Huh. It looks, looks right. like an alien, 
alien um, energy drink. Huh. All right, then. Uh, he'll go ahead, he'll select the first tent he finds that appears to be unoccupied and toss his bags in there and make for the... Uh, uh, which tower was it? I was actually filling out more stuff on my character sheet, so if you had pointed it out, I didn't see. Yeah, over here. In the, uh, yeah. Okay, so you climb, you see that the tower is, is very well concealed. Perfectly concealed, almost, uh, without using like, um, special technologies like probably thermal optic camouflage or um, cloaking field. It is built, painted in camel colors, and on top of the camel colors, it has um, a camellio uh, um, tissue wrapped uh, all, all around the the um, the structure is basically the same stuff that um, uh, Camellio cloaks are made of. Nice. Uh, and you climb up, and he's like, he he points at the first target, and he's like, the first one, the first one. All right. Aim, aim for the head, if you will. All right, yeah, sure. I'll make a called shot for that, and uh, I'll use my sniper shot to uh, make that little. Yep. Uh, let me get my. I'm still I figuring call? out this sheet. Do, 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 do. Uh, okay, this. Trifle is was was ah yeah it's a rail then. Okay. Eight. God damn, your sniper has thank you. Thank you. Your sniper is your tank. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you miss it. Oh, damn it. I forgot to add the... <laughs> I forgot to add the sniper bonus to it. <laughs> uh, I don't think that'll make much difference, though. It was only a bonus of one. Yeah, it is like it's it's very close. Is like looks at the target, didn't flash, didn't register the the hit. It's like, okay, fire again. This time you hit it, uh, even without a sniper shot, you hit the exactly. Well, that did include the sniper shot, but yeah. Yeah. And he's like, he nods. Good, good. Good. Come down, down from there. Oh, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. He he looks at uh, Yuri and Marson. He said, he's like, um, okay, boys, uh, go in, in, in the tent. Go in the tent. Like, uh, go in the tent. And right. when Yuri and Merson, Merson go in the tent, he is like, he, uh, he uh, co contacts you, uh, Edmund, on his um, uh, on his PDA. He says, uh, "Try to hide and uh, stay here. Let's see if those two can uh, see you." <laughs> And so I, I go inside the tent and hide. Pick, pick which tent, like move, move there. Oh, the small tents. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, I want to be in the center, right up here. Oh wait, I can't. I'm in. I'm in the tent. Uh, no, no, I was talking no, to. Talk to Edmund. Oh yeah, he wants me to hide. Yeah. Oh, I thought so... we were supposed to go in the tent, then you hide. No, 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 he hides, and then we go into the tent, and we'll see if we can spot him. No, you, <laughs> well, you guys, you're going into the main tent, and then I'm going to hide, and then you're trying to find yeah. me. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I got it. 
Took me too long to get. <laughs> okay. Um, you hide there. That's. In fact, pick, actually. <laughs> pick, let's, pick let's, someone. Hold on. Let's, let's make this interesting. Okay. Yeah, this works. Okay. Come on. What do you want to like, do? Try to get roll 20 to actually work with me. Should work. So far it so so far it didn't crash. It's working. Jesus. Wait. Uh what do you want to do? Sending it to you now. Oh, okay. I don't. Uh, I'm, I'm whispering it to you so that they. Oh know. yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Uh, if if you if you uh, if you uh, want to use like the Discord, you can use. It. Oh yeah, that is an option, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, it's um, W. Yeah. Slide, forward slash W. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So, slash W. I'll, I'll I'll hide hide your um, token. And um, they okay. Uh, I'll, I'll whisper you. Um, and like Alexis, like calls them out. Like, come on, come on out. Try to look for him. Eh, eh. Chuckles. Okay. And then for looking. Do we roll so, yet or do we actually physically move around? Tell me, tell me what you do. <laughs> okay. Oh. I'm going physically move around and then I'm going to look inside some of these small tents over here. So this little small tent right here. Okay. Um and Yuri, what do you what do you do? Yuri uh shows, shows his head to the side for a bit. <laughs> it's then, really then easy. He, then he pulls out his he pulls out his scanner. <laughs> oh, <God damn it. laughs> okay, okay. You pull out the scanner, uh, what's what's the range of the scanner? How uh, how many it's feet? thirty feet. Okay, where do we go with the scanner? Uh, okay, so let's see how much I can get from him. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he goes... Like, he, yeah, he, he just he pokes, he pokes his head at Marcin, who just like the opening tents. He, he just nods without changing his expression at all. He, he goes in here. Okay. So we'll try. Ah, oh, come uh, on! Yeah, you scan, you scan, and you you detect like uh, Valeria. You scan, you scan her. You see that she's she's uh, over here, uh, inside um, inside the uh, uh, second APC. Um, but other than that, like nothing. God damn it. Wait, scanner's uh, not one of the equipments I have, right? Because I'm looking you, at it. You, 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 uh, you, you, um, you probably have another gadget. I, 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 yeah, yeah. I okay. gave each each of you a gadget. <clears throat> okay, so. Um, <clears throat> Okay, so Yuri, you you do not detect um, Edmund over there. Hmm. Alexi is like raise, raising an eyebrow. He's, he's, he's like uh, nodding. Um, he's like, hmm, good thinking. And he looks at Mans and he's like, yes, that's that's also uh, that's also good. <laughs> mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> 
You can, uh, you can always trust your, uh, trust your feelings, young one. Trust your senses. Sometimes uh, those pesky scanners, they can lie to you. Da. Okay. Um. All right. Let's see. And I then move on to physically check another tent. <laughs> okay. Because my character Yuri? only knows how to do one thing. The same thing. One thing at a time, yeah. <laughs> one yeah. thing at a time. <laughs> otherwise otherwise you you'll get shocked by your uh, by the overseer of the armory. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Oh god. Uh, okay, so I guess I'll... It's clear, the garage is clear, obviously. Okay, so roll, I... roll the scan check. Um... Okay, yeah. Okay, so you 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 detect you detect um you detect him here. He's he's hiding under the um uh under the fuel dump. And you can see him on the scanner crouching there. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, you can clearly see him on the scanner. Uh, okay, so uh, Yuri goes to Alexi and uh, and go. So uh, he, <laughs> so he just like uh, no no. Okay, I already went to Alexi and goes. So should I? Uh, he will explain to him, uh, explain to the new recruit how scanners work or Alexi right. like looks at you and says uh, uh like because he's all clicks, he's clicks under, the, under the tower clicks clicks on his uh his PA and he's like Edward come out here boyo very all good right. very good you see the hatch to the escape pod at the lower right open, so Edmund steps out. Gotcha. And then he goes and picks up his hollow projector from under the fuel depot. Ah. Uh, nice. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I'm impressed. He, Alexi, like, <laughs> Alexi still claps, <laughs> claps and says, yeah, and uh, turns around and looks at Marson. But what if he was he he was uh, hiding in the he kind of uh, uh, left this uh, holo uh, holo decoy over there and he obviously you see he lied to his scanner you see you must use all all of the skills and all of your senses as this is important in survival and also teamwork is very important. And he, he turns around and says, You see, every one of you, you have special skills, special abilities, and probably you think, you think differently. So that should be used as a strength, not a weakness. I mean, we are a cohesive civilization. We have uh, strong cultural values. We're not like those uh, stupid um, aliens, like those slaving bastards. He spits on the ground. He's like, they have no, no decency, no honor. They're, they're full of shit. And uh, he kind of smiles. Like, and those Tazarans, they're literally full of shit. He stops <laughs> laughing. I mean, he, he, my he, family he, and I, we, we, we always called them green shit alien. It's not, not the most creative insult, but it, it stuck. Ah, uh, he says, 
Юрий, uh, tell us, tell us why, please, you're a doctor, you should know, tell us why there's, their uh, blood smell, smells like shit, please, <laughs> <laughs> no, literally, they, their blood smells, smells like shit, I'm not joking, I know, that's, that's, that's why I'm laughing, <laughs> It's I something learned. I did not know about them. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't either, and I was raised by them. Oh no! Well, I wasn't no, raised by them. I you were raised by, by pirates. No, yeah, I was. Yeah. And uh, well, basically, let me see. Maybe. <laughs> I I I don't think I don't think unless like, uh, they don't they don't care they don't care about this at all they're like they they probably tr treated him in a most horrible way because they for them he was he was just a tool he was something that. Uh, they they don't care about their slaves i mean they it's it's not their way he's he anyone who whom they 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 decide to spare their lives after they they capture a ship um they put to work if you're if you're breathing their air uh you will work and eating their food you will work until you until you die on a, or until you you're uh, broken beyond repair and then they they kick you out of the ship it's it's not like they they don't even invest feelings in it they don't hate you for them you're just a tool made of flesh but a tool on that okay so yuri you so know yuri yeah, yeah scratches his uh, check and goes from uh, what, what i've read it's um uh, there, there is a, there is a blood uh, there is an there is an enzyme in their blood well, which uh, produces the, the 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 smell but on a metaphysical level uh, it's it might it might have something to, to do uh, with the universe itself uh, which uh, 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 it it chose uh, it as an appropriate smell for, for the Tazarans, considering their deeds. And now I roll your knowledge uh, philosophy, because the as we all know, the universe is a living thing, uh, is a living being, and this might be what the universe chose to make the <laughs> the universe chose to make yeah. the, the, the 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 Tazaran smell like shit. So. <laughs> So, so, so what? So what you're saying is, yep. the, the universe, creation yeah, themselves oh, yeah. knew the that the designs were going to be such shitty people Absolutely. that they wanted to give everyone an olfactory warning ahead of. On a meta, <laughs> makes uh, sense on, to me. On a, on meta, on metaphysical level, it's it is absolute studies point, uh, and all philosophers say that it's an absolutely uh, the most plausible theory there is. It, uh, there's the more plausible explanation on a metaphysical level. Edmund shrugs. Makes sense to me. Um, and Alexi like turns around at Edmund. It's like, so, uh, Edmund, um, did you have a lot of problems with uh, those uh, the shit bloods on your uh, colony? Uh, by the way, what's what, what's the name of your, of your colony? I was actually going to ask you to throw a name at me. Oh, okay. And uh, here it says, I, I forgot to read it. I'm sorry. Um, uh, it's called Blix. Blix. Ha! Huh. Blix. Sounds like blat. But okay, so Blix. Uh so yeah, that's a that's a good place. I mean, you produce a lot of beef, uh, dear. It, it's yeah. a good, top quality beef. He's like, hmm. It's like turns around, uh, looks at the the garage, and 
О, хани! I think uh, I know what to order for when the next shuttle comes. <laughs> well, if you order one from Glass Ranch, I can see to it that you guys get a good disc. He smiles. He's, a, he's like, oh, you giving spacers discount. Oh, oh uh, behind him, behind, behind his, uh, behind <laughs> Alexis' back, Yuri is just shaking, violently shaking his head. You giving spacer discount? He's he like, like smiles, like, like the, the, this one move, like uh, like chopping his head, like you know, cut it. Uh, uh, mm, mm, nope, nope. <laughs> no, like, no, not spacers. Just those of us here in camp. We take care of all. It's. Matter of pride and hospitality. He 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 nods. He's like, oh oh, that's that's better. That's that's better. Uh, he's like, hmm. What should we do now? He looks at he looks at the uh, the the juggle. He he pats uh, Marcin on the the shoulder. He's like, okay. Uh, go get your weapon from the cooler. Should have cooled down uh, by now. Uh, pick up a spare power pack, and is uh, like we will go for a run. We'll try to to shoot something. Um, I'm not sure. The scanners showed some uh, uh, some things. I, I I think that they were edible, probably. If not, we will attract, we will attract uh, things, we will try and eat us, we will shoot them, we will we'll, we'll check if, I mean you have scanner, we will check if they're, if they're edible, if not we continue running until something else finds us and we shoot it, you know the drill, you know how it works, uh, he, he looks at Edmund, he's like, um, you can uh, practice your skills uh, like uh, tracking uh, different creatures uh, and uh, probably being tracked, not being seen. That hollow uh, decoy of yours will, will work in the forests. Yes. He's, he turns around. Valeria! His, his wife, like. Uh, comes comes out of the the, the garage she's like she, she's all her uh, her gloves are like uh covered with um um aging uh fluids and um grease uh and he's like she's like what and alexi looks at her and we are going to uh, we're going to, to forest uh, to to be hunted. Uh, yes, yeah. that's that's correct. So uh, uh, use those uh, the scanners on the APC. If uh, if if you see something something bigger coming at us uh, or something else, just um, ping us. Link us um, the coordinates on the on our PDA. Uh, I'll I'll try to keep them alive. But uh, from what I see, they're they're pretty pretty tough. Those uh, those boys. He notes like good good choice. The the recruiters on calf. Uh, I think I think we should we should we should uh, you should send him. Um, uh, another box of, of uh, meat, uh, Valeria, and she's like, she nods. Another bo box of meat? Can we just send him a couple bo of bottles? And Alexei says, no, no, woman, we need, we must, uh, we must send him a, a box of, of, yeah, of, uh, meat. She's like. <laughs> Mumble something in Russian and uh, the, she she walks um, again 
um, inside the, the garage. So basically, you go uh, on a hunt, quote unquote, in the forest, which I I uh, will simply ask uh, every one of you what 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 uh, you doing uh, during this hunt, and. Um, Depending on the, how you explain it, this is this will be a roleplay hunt basically, because the, the Alexi will not allow anyone to, to be to get it done by anything. <laughs> that will be really stupid. He's, it's not it, his, his his job here is to to train you and uh, keep your asses safe. So basically, uh, no you exit. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you exit uh, exit the field, and there is a field, by the way, around the around this camp, which um, blocks like dangerous insects and other creepy crawlies from entering it. And you enter the the pristine jungle, which is which like the terrain is is flat here, but in the jungle there is no flat. It's it's you know how it looks like it's mm -hmm. even worse it's even worse like uh if you compare it for example with the amazonian jungle if you've, you've seen like um oh boy this is a true horror like you have uh holes rocks uh trees and other stuff that grow on top of each other uh you have st uh, things like um insects the size of a dog that basically crawl out of trees fly all around you um but most of them they're eating each other they do not register you as, as something that uh they probably don't know what what you are because you're not part of their ecosystem and probably the base was the base was built like really uh, not not that long ago, so the creatures they 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 haven't adapted to 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 the presence of humans and others. They're like just buzzing around, eating each other. Um, some of them are like um, copulating, um, laying eggs, and such buzzing around, crawling around. Uh, of course, you can hear like um, uh, the roars and screams and other uh, squeals of creatures uh, deep, deeper in the jungle. Uh, some of them sound big, really big. And of course, you hear the occasional um, explosion from uh, when the uh, uh, one of the many, many, many small canon six erupts. Okay, so uh, we'll start with Edmund. What do you do? Okay. Um, well, Edmund will go ahead and uh, take point. You know, he'll kind of keep ahead of the group, but... Uh, He's not focusing quite so much on the path in front of them as what might end up being in that path. He's obviously watching where he's going, of course, but his attention is more focused on keeping ears and eyes open for threats that are coming their way. So he's taking it, <coughs> excuse me, he's taking his time, keeping the pace kind of slow and keeping eyes and ears open for anything dangerous that might come across their path. He's also kind of taken aback by the fact that the animals don't really seem to give a shit about the fact that we're there. So that tends to go, that goes against some of his previous experiences dealing with, um, um, oh, damn it, what was the word? I just had a brain fart. Uh, dealing with indigenous wildlife. Um, yeah, Lexi looks at you and kind of uh, whispers in, in the link. It looks at looks at the, the critters flying around like and crawling around. And 
give them. They will soon learn to love trying to munch us very soon. Kind of looks at them suspicious, suspiciously. Uh, all right, so you were scouting her. Um, roll me uh, and and for check. <clears throat> and of course, uh, who who's 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 gonna who's, who's gonna be after him? The second in line. Um, I think <clears throat> Zuvio. I mean, Gary should be yeah. second in line. Yeah. Uh, so. So uh, Alexi knows about some of the indigenous species here, right? Um, to hunt? Probably you could assume uh, you could roll like uh, your skill check and uh, after examining the creatures in some way, uh, you could. No, but uh, Alexi, does he know some uh, what is what's good to eat, like what's good to, what is suitable for us to eat and to hunt. You... You didn't listen. <laughs> I mean... What did he say before you got out of the camp? Okay, we'll go hunt something. So I want to ask him about an, uh, a specific species, so I can set my uh, scanner to only read ab about, uh, like, receive readings about this type of species. He says, uh, he says, I don't want to eat insects, so let's see, I had some basic scan profile of one of the meaty stuff uh so i'll send it to you and he sends it this to you and you can try scanning for it it will give you a plus two to, to uh search for it when you roll a uh, computer yep so i'll just roll one and this will this will be my search for uh okay okay um uh, so marcin you are at the back mm -hmm. what are you doing so i'm keeping my eyes peeled on the jungle since i grew up mostly in uh kind of space stations uh i feel a little une unease in the jungle i'm kind of pointing my weapon at the bushes and the trees everything uh, mostly that moves Everything that moves, pretty much, and I'm a high alert and obviously very anxious, although my usually expressionless face is not changing too much. I'm definitely, um, acting a little twitchy around the jungle, um, since I'm not even sure how to react. And I'm kind of <laughs> peeking back over my shoulder more frequently than possible every now and then, um, stubbing my toe on, like, a tree branch or something and kind of embarrassingly uh um not falling but it's when you uh why can't i remember words right now it's because my coffee's upstairs um what? tripping tripping gently over some like little branches and roots every now and then until i get my footing and start walking a little more assuredly you're all right um mm -hmm. let's see roll me 1d1 uh, each of you. 1d1? 1d100. It's forward slash roll. Wait. No, no. Wait, Four, I did. Forward slash roll. Mm -hmm. D1, D100. Yep. All right. All right. That's fair. Um. <clears throat> Let's see Edmund's the roll. He's, he's the last one to roll. Hello? I got a cat sitting on my keyboard, so I'm trying to move. <laughs> <laughs> cat, you do! You do us! You do us all! Um, okay, so it takes you probably... Uh, you, you walk around... 
maybe half an hour, and then some all of those bugs, all of those creepy crawlies that were seemingly not interested in you, they start to uh, first they they try to bump in you, um, and you you man, you avoid it at first. They're not like super uh, active, um, super fast. Or like probably they are not trying that hard, but at the end of this half an hour, they turn really vicious real quick, and they start um, like flying at you from every possible direction, um, and you 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 had to to uh, you have to shoot some. So I will ask each one of you to tell me uh, how are they shooting, or if they are shooting, what are they doing, and then you will roll your your um, respective attacks. One attack per one attack per person. Alexi is like uh, he's he's he he whispers uh, in the link uh, to Edmund. Told you so. Hmm. Let's see. But while while you are defending yourself from the the first violent attack of uh, of the bugs, um, you read only another computer chip. Oh. Ha. Ah. <laughs> Yes, you find you you detect something made of meat, uh, which your scanner tells you that it's uh, edible and probably very nutritious. Um, and it is it is cr uh, close. Um, it is a small uh, deer size creature, but you 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 have to deal with the the bugs first. So we'll, we'll, we'll start with that one. Is he? No, it's the cat. It's the cat. Ah, uh, the cat. Probably the cat. Yeah. Um. All right. Well, let's see. I'll just. Uh... Line up a shot. We'll, uh, let me check my thing real quick. I mean, it's not super necessary to shoot. You could do something else. I mean, yeah. Um, in that kit, you have other options. Uh, let's see what. What's the terrain like around where we are right now in terms of uh, you, it's flora, fauna, all that stuff? It's basically exactly the same. It's a pristine jungle. It's never been traversed. You're the first, uh, the first people, the first humanoids who walked through it. I mean, you had to, uh, you had to. Um, Walk around the, some of the bigger trees, probably um, circle around some of the rocks, like the bigger rocks, which were probably propelled uh, by exploding volcanoes. Uh, as you know, often happens, and then the jungle grew around them or over, over yeah. them as the jungle um. <clears throat> So here, what I'm thinking is, uh, is there a any like low hanging branches on these trees that look oh, yes. like I'd be able to shoot through? Yeah, like blast them off. All right, I basically want to 
take aim at one that's within 30 feet of me and, you know, kind of that's also in the trajectory of whatever bug or bugs are headed my way and shoot it down, cause it to like either fall on top of them or right in front of them. Sort of uh, distract and dissuade them a little bit. All right, that's that's an excellent uh, plan. Okay, uh, roll, roll just a um, um, range tech, just uh, from the the first um, page of your character sheet. Uh, okay, so the second uh, will uh, Yuri. Yes, yes, you you managed to do to do so. And let's see, I'm going to roll. Um, and uh, you shoot, you hit uh, a tree, uh, you hit it, um, uh, this branch, which actually turns out to be another tree, it's, uh, growing from um, through the body of, uh, through, through like the trunk of this bigger tree, and it falls and it uh, kind of squishes. A uh, dozen or so bugs, uh, and many of the rest, uh, they they uh, leap on top of them and they trying to they devouring them, and more bugs, um, more of those bugs who were like moving at your direction, they change change their um, targets, quote unquote, and they start fighting with the uh, other bugs who are eating already that bug uh, and it kind of uh, turns into a huge uh, pile of uh, fighting uh, bugs fighting with each other and eating eating the dead bugs and it kind of and, and it starts growing and you you can you can hear like the the jungle um, things who who like fly flying bug sounds you know how it is a bzzz, something like that but um <clears throat> you hear it uh you hear it louder and you see the distance like uh bugs the size of uh bikes basically very very big bugs uh and like with with edmund's um um nice trick uh, uh most of those bugs who are trying to attack you they can they are pulled there but there are just a few bugs around you they're still trying to munch munch you or probably they are smarter they don't want to uh they do not want to uh, uh go and uh, join that huge pile of uh eating um fighting and dying bugs so yuri what what do you do Okay, can I? Okay, I'll, it's it's a long shot, but I'll try it. Um, so, do I need to roll you a scan to see if there's anything first? I want to see if there's anything different about uh, uh, these bugs from what we usually know. What if there's any different difference no. in the metabolism or just regular bugs? Okay, just the same bugs. Okay, so can I use my PDA? to basically uh, use like sound at a certain frequency. Like, you know how uh, there are repellents for mosquitoes, for example, that yes. is, uh, at a certain frequency? Can I use yes. my PDA to Of course that? you can. Yes, you okay. can. Roll a so computer and check. Uh, and you have like additional, yeah. Uh, all of the bugs who are crawling around you, they can they 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 look like they're they're hitting like an invisible wall and they stop chasing you uh martin you see you see uh this this creature uh this creature that's made of meat um it's it's walking uh it looks like um very strange deer creature like it's it's all um camouflaged uh, but um somehow this this creature that does not look like it's uh it's very well it's it's not doing very well it's kind of uh looks wounded 
um, something fell fell on it, but probably a rock or um, a branch or you're not sure. But it it looks so that it's um, it just uh, it started running towards you, and you can see it. It's it's going to run past you. Uh, past the path that you you just walked um towards this place <clears throat> so you could try to shoot it or do something else i mean how how far away is it gonna pass for me um probably 50 feet just 50 okay yep um <clears throat> so <laughs> i'm going to attempt to take it down okay so i'm going to shoot it and let me see do i roll if, uh, you know you can like just i'm not saying you do it just to, uh, to remind you you can aim at both parts oh i actually can aim at specific Cause, cause, parts of it yeah no because it's uh you can aim at the head body or limbs so yeah, but he he already said that he's yeah. Well, I'm gonna aim at the yeah. main body part of it. I mean, I anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna aim at the main part of it, and I'm going to attack with my snub gun. <clears throat> Hell, just go weapons. There we go. Um, Yes, you hit it. You hit. You hit the um, the thing. It's the poor thing is is um is was heavily wounded before you shot it dead. Kind of blow a huge hole in his side. So uh, char the flesh and ruin the um, the um, skin of the animal. Mm. It falls dead like you kind of blew it. Probably a couple of feet and of squeals and um, hits hits the floor. Um, you see a couple of bugs who immediately uh, try to crawl at him um, at the creature, but um, the, um, this quote unquote invisible wall of sound is like re still repelling them. Um, and those bugs that you heard, you see them there. Like, uh, they look like a very bizarre um, thing. Um, they have like big wings and they have um, heads with some. Um, Eyes that were resembling closely resembling those of, those of a fly that you, you can see on Earth, and they have uh, mouths with teeth. Also, it seems that they are not pure. Uh, don't they are not pure insects? There are some some uh, uh, local strange alien life form uh, because they have. Uh, uh, insects, insect characteristics, and they have uh, fleshy, fleshy bits in them. Uh, uh -huh. They also have tentacles, and when they land, they have six tentacles. Uh, each, each of each of those tentacles, it um, it ends with a sort of a mandibulate, like the um, uh, similar to the um, a praying mantis. Uh, and they they are big. They are big. They are as big as a as a as a bike. Um, and uh, they they seem to be interested more in that huge pile of of for them tasty looking smaller insects, which they they like viciously leap. Uh, at them and start to impale them on their mandy blades and gorge on them like devour them whole 
Um, and I mean those smaller, quote unquote, um, insects that are the size of a small doll. Not that small. Uh, what do you do? I mean, you, you, you've got the thing. Like, Alexi is like, uh, I think we should go back. Who's I gonna know. carry it? I'll carry it. He smiles. Good shot, good shot. He turns around, looks at Edmund. Okay. Uh, you two, uh, you, 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 you scan them, and uh, you, 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 that sniper, and just uh, if they try to fly at our direction, just shoot them in the. In whatever, I don't, I don't care. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's start running back. I think it's time to to start running. Oh boy! So first, uh, Yuri will scan them. Okay, you scan them and you. I will whisper you what you find. Uh, roll, roll, athletic checks, uh, all of you. You should, you should be able to. You have it as a trained skill, all of you. Athletics. Damn it. My window closed. Sometimes it happens. Okay. Um, well, Marson, you kind of uh, uh, Alexi uh, slows down and uh, goes to help you. Comes to help you because you are carrying the 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 food. Basically, uh, you could you could try to push yourself. Uh, roll a strength check from the stat um, page. Yeah, let me do that. <clears throat> Let's see. Quick question. Damn it. Uh, when when you say that athletics is a trained skill, uh, do you mean that it is trained in the sense that we just check it off as like a trained class skill or trained that we get four ranks in it? Uh, no, no. It's uh, available for, for all of your characters. It doesn't matter if any of you... Okay, so yeah, it's, a, it's just a class skill then. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I thought. Yep. And uh, simplified version of jump climb, it, it's everything into yeah, it's everything. Yeah, it, it's it's the way athletics works in Pathfinder. So you you run back, um, you pick up speed, uh, Merson, uh, despite the fact that you are carrying this uh, quote unquote jungle deer. Mm -hmm. um, you, you managed to you managed to reach the the camp and you pass through the field uh, and um, I mean you kind of you're out of breath because it's 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 hot as well. and it's getting even hotter uh, he he Alexi like uh, runs to the cooler and picks uh, more more of those energy drinks the super <laughs> slimer nine thousand. And gives gives uh, everyone uh, e gives each one, and he's like, "This stuff, I, you know, he's like, Valeria, come over here. We kind of uh, we we bring up we bring the baker, In, and uh, she she looks at that the thing is like, yeah, it's not a baker, that's that's a jungle deer, and Alexi is like, no, no, it's baker." It smells like bacon. Uh, it's like uh, okay, okay. So more like it once we smoke it and salt it. Oh yes, yes. So he picks, he picks. Um, um, he gives you like each one of those air drink, uh, energy drinks, and you get in the you get inside the tent, which has some some con uh, air conditioning. 
and it's it's bearable. I mean, it's not like it does not feel like standing on top of a sun, walking <laughs> walking on the sun. Um, it it feels like walking on the sun, but during night. <laughs> yeah, it's it's almost the same, but it's slightly better. <laughs> so uh, Alexis sits uh, on one of the crates. He drinks uh, this uh, this energy drink, turns it around, looks at the hollow like um, has a uh, hollow um, letters uh, with which the, the manufacturer um, tried to advertise what it had and what it it uh, what the contents are, etc. Where it's uh, like imagine a monster in it. It's, uh, alien alien letters. Everything is written in alien letters, and it's uh, the form the form of the can is is different. It's made of uh, some sort of a space polymer, uh, and basically it says uh, that um, it has some special slime, and it's a secret ingredient. Uh, it has like. 70% uh, slime, magical space, super magical super space slime, uh, and uh, of course each of the the cans is different. It has some um, different taste. Uh, yours, um, Edmund, if you choose to to drink it, <laughs> it says uh, magical glow in the dark super space slime. <laughs> Uh, Marcin, yours is he says uh, um, magical a uh, voice changing super space line. Voice uh, changing yeah. super space <laughs> slime. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. And uh, Yuri says uh, um, Let's see what's yours. Yours is um, super space slime, which makes your um, your mouth smell of uh, magical space slime. <laughs> You're in crack zone. I'm open. I'm not fucking around. I'm looking at my uh, fifty. So, Yuri cracks open a cold one and chugs it. So you, um, feel your, you feel your mouth tingle. Could you and repeat then, with and my then magical? When, <laughs> and oh, then when God. you exhale, when you exhale, like you, all of you, you see like the the breath coming out. It's it's it 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 looks like some some form of a primitive uh, bioluminescent hollow. Um, that forms like uh, a small, a small cloud-like, mm. and it dissipates, dissipates and spreads some um, uh, molecules of um, some some sort of a, ch a very cheap um, perfume, and it mm. smells like it smells like raspberries. Strangely mm. enough. Huh. Could you repeat what my weird super space slime is one more time for me, please? <laughs> You're supposed to voice changing, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I... Voice changing. Yeah. I thought that was, uh, thought that was Mark. Yeah, I thought that was mine. Yeah, it's yours. Uh, Edmund. And Edmund needs his repeat. Uh, so my sense... wait, wasn't yours glow in the dark? Yeah, glow in the dark. Yeah. So Yuri just cr cracks it open and drinks it and goes, "Fascinating." Um, uh, Alexi, where where did these drinks actually come from? He he smiles, and uh, you see his uh, <sighs> his 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 slime obviously was. Uh, something that um, uh, changes the color of his his tongue, and you can see how his tongue changes color a couple of times. Uh, the dozen colors uh, 
uh, many of, of those colors you you can't even i mean your eyes can't see them <laughs> um and he's like eh. well i killed a bunch of uh a bunch of slavers and um i mean one of them was a was a that that was that was his prize collection. He had it stored. Uh, all of those are unique, unique tastes. That uh, uh, each of them is is produced in in a limited series, uh, only once each ten star years. <laughs> and he 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 kind of uh, chuckles. He says. And this uh, probably, probably, if you go deeper in fringe space, uh, and you were a pirate, uh, you were not a Terran, probably because uh, other other way they will kill you. Uh, you could have sold uh, sold them for a lot of money, but their money are crap, so they were shit. So <laughs> it's it's better to 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 drink them. Because I have a uh, like a uh more than 60 uh, back in the in the cooler so my Bro. character cracks his open and just chugs it as sloppily as he did the first time oh god <laughs> <laughs> it runs oh, down into his beard goes, <laughs> into his yeah, yeah no no and your your goes uh she's like actually since but then when he speaks again, record. it sounds like yeah. a singing song from the Looney Tunes. <laughs> so, yeah, Yuri, Yuri just sets his PDA to record. It just looks at the, uh, Mars unexpectedly for him to talk. Your voice is really, really, really... What? Well, well. Really? I, 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 I vote. I vote. We. I vote. We let Adeptus make up a voice here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> make up a voice. Oh my god! What if you got to my voice? Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. Yeah. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> God damn, so you sound just like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, well, everyone, everyone likes likes the Super Slide 9000. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, Edmund cracks this open, down the hatch, downs it. Kind of like. Uh, so my teeth glowing? I know it's loud out. Let, let me try. He puts his helmet on. Jesus, I can't see a damn thing. It's so bright in here. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's like, it's like, um, imagine those, um, those floodlights. But, uh, since like, oh my God. Have, they have a lot of, a lot of teeth and uh, the front teeth are, teeth are like, um, Arranged in a certain way, it's like a like a discotheque <laughs> in all directions. <laughs> little <laughs> little floodlights, like in all directions, and they're really giant disco balls. Yeah, yeah disco exactly. Ball. <laughs> you like you have a disco ball in your mouth. It's like super fun. Uh, it's like there's a party in your mouth, guys. Check, everyone's invited. Check that out. There's there's a there's a little girl. In that cartoon, that has something to happen to her that I kind of picture was what happening. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, yeah, I remember. The gold yes, team. <laughs> like a spotlight. Oh. <laughs> it's like halfway through. Oh yes. Yes, the cleaning. The cleaning of the teeth. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, exactly. So, uh, he he's like Alexis, like uh, he's he's laughing. He's obsessed with dental hygiene, which can only mean he says probably that those fuck they killed a lot of people. Um, 
and uh, you should know that I kind of uh, uh, dismembered him with um, like shooting, shooting his limbs off. I mean, I, I kind of sealed, of course, his suit and kicked him uh, in space, like, uh, and he he explains it like uh, most. It's a, it's morbid spacer humor, and of course he. Uh, each spacer they have like uh, a way of of telling a tale uh, which can be really funny even if it's 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 ultra heroic and and of course he's he's not embellishing he's no no spacer ever embellishes because that might might um, uh, lead other people to 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 their doom. The spacers they when they when they when they tell a tale it it's always true they never like oh no i fought i fought over there i, I used just a simple laser pistol and i fought a thousand pirates no 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 and he 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 tells it and you you suddenly you suddenly uh, realize that this man he 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 boarded um one uh ray chip a pirate ray chip uh, well, it, it wasn't like an Alaska ship. It was a Pushwa ship, but still, those Pushwa. are clan, yeah, uh, clans. And he kind of single-handedly killed them all, every single one. Uh, and there were around fifty pirates. He killed them all, everyone. And this was this was their boss. This was their captain's. Uh, <laughs> the captain that was the captain's chest, laddies. Uh, that was the putty. And the captain had super a collection of super sliver now nine thousand instead of uh, instead of money. <laughs> but yeah, basically that's that that was that was his uh, his loot. Uh, he sold the ship. Uh, he says he says yeah, everything here, boys. This is uh, this this your team has been uh, financed by the the sale of this pirate ship, this slaver ship. So it's kind of a poetic just. We go there, we kill them, we sell their shit, and then uh, we train you, and you go out there, you kill them, you bring us their shit, we sell them, we sell it, and then we train more, and then we say, you should probably, yeah, I, I don't need to explain it. If you're, sm you're, you're smart guys, you know how it works. So, uh, Alexi uh, leaves you to, to uh, finish your um, energy drinks uh, and chat and eat your rations. Um, or you could wait for his, his uh, wife to uh, cook. Uh, some of the meat, or you could go there and help her. I mean, some of you might have like skills. I don't know. I mean, uh, I don't know. Give her a hand with that. I'll also uh, give pointers to which part of the meat, if there is something we should avoid. I can probably it's extrapolate. The, it's the ass cheeks. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm my character is instead gonna finish his drink and then try to figure out how he can get something a little more alcoholic. Um. Okay. Well, uh, you can you can uh, uh, ask Alexi for uh, hard liquor. Ah. Uh. Hey, yeah. Alexi. Do you have hard liquor? <laughs> Do you have hot liquor? Yeah, and by the way, uh, I mean, your Edmund, your teeth, they are still glowing. <laughs> well, that just means I provide extra light in the kitchen. Uh, you Small shine, one. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they can't, they can't. Smiles at, he turns and smiles at Marcin, and Marcin's just like, oh, my God! Oh, oh. <laughs> 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 
Okay. All right. So <laughs> you go, you go there. <laughs> she she sees you, <laughs> and she's like, <laughs> she she, pull, she pulls one of her pistols, which is which is a uh, which is a stunner. She flips it at that like stun. She's like, ah oh, ah. Oh. Go away! Go away until this this shit disappears! <laughs> I I don't want any of it close to me! Fuck you! He's like, Alexi! <laughs> you, you crazy fuck! <laughs> okay! Stop <laughs> giving them drugs! <laughs> you moron! Okay. Like, but, but honey! <laughs> and she's you, you know what? He's talking. You, you know what got me there? Ah! You, you know what got know? me there? Just that random little ah! Fuck you! Go away! Holy <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> <sighs> so basically, she 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 kicks you out of, <laughs> out of the garage, <laughs> waving a st stun stun pistol around. <laughs> Uh, shooting random, random uh, shots in the air. She's like, get, get out of here! Uh, and you can see that um, uh, they, they, they are using uh, the cannons. Uh, they, they got some wire. They tied in the thing. They, um, of course, disemboweled it, removed the guts, etc. And hanged it. Uh, oh, <laughs> Uh, where the turret is, like the four, the four guns, they they tied tied the wires, and uh, she she uh, she sent like uh, that female engineer to with her plasma torch to <laughs> <laughs> gave her her own plasma torches. Is like uh, holding two plasma torches and trying to to cook it. <laughs> with the plasma torches. <laughs> Let me see. She, 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 now I, 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 I will have to roll from her uh, character sheet. Uh, let me see. No, 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 not equipment. Skip. Come on. Come on. <laughs> uh, oh, she doesn't have a profession. Okay, intelligence check that is. <laughs> Damn! Damn, woman! It's awesome! <laughs> it's fucking awesome! Well, you spent you spent some like probably good 15 minutes running around the camp <laughs> like idiots. <laughs> and uh um uh she she uh waits uh waits really for this this pay. Alexis is like uh like she's like you see, woman, it's he's like showing her his tongue. He's like, you see, woman, it's dissipated. She's like, yo, fuck. But uh, yeah, she she finally cracks a uh, uh, cracks a smile, and starts laughing, her ass off, and uh, um, uses her viper dagger to 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 chop uh, the thing like. You mean I? I mean you know that the Viper dagger like slices through bones, muscles, everything. Mm -hmm. and she kind of slices the thing, uh, uses the wire to to hold it, <clears throat> and uh, uh, takes um, one of the um, plates off her uh, suit and uses the uh, the vac foam dispenser to to make like. Uh, um, <clears throat> Plates on the spot, like because if if you are using a vac foam in uh, uh, this is the sealant for the um, if if your suit gets damaged, if your suit suit gets pierced in, in outer space, like in in the vacuum of space, the the this special upgrade kind of seals the um, uh, seals the the hole, <clears throat> and she uses this to spray a little bit, and it hardens almost instantly instantly. And it looks like like uh, styrofoam, uh, primitive styrofoam plates, which she uses to to plate the meat, like <laughs> slices, slices the meat. It's like it's you're in, 
spacer survival skills, basically. <laughs> you can use your spacesuit for for everything, basically. If if you're a spacer, um, and a scout, also, yeah. So, uh, she she uh, brings you the, the each uh, improvised plate of full of meat. It's like this thing weighs around 300 pounds. This this animal. When healthy, the one you shot weighed around a uh, little less than 200 pounds. <clears throat> and you shot a, a big chunk chunk of it to pieces. So it's around maybe 180 pounds. And you're not eating the, the, the bones, which the bones are around 70 pounds. So I shot like but 20 pounds worth of meat off of it? Um, yeah, and bones, equally. That is yeah. so awesome. Um, but particle beams, bro. Particle beams. <laughs> if, if, for example, gun. if, for example, Edmund would have shot, he would have uh, like shattered all the bones and like uh, made a, a huge hole, um, exit a wound hole. Mm. <laughs> yeah, well, I just. Did that in the beginning. <laughs> okay. So yeah, you eat eat the meat, um, and uh, the night suddenly falls. By the way, uh, and the planet uh, becomes like it, it's the, the the night sky is 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 beautiful. Uh, you can also, of course, still see the small exploding. Um, uh, um, volcanoes in the distance and the plumes of smoke, uh, which kind of uh, obscure some of the stars, but not all of them. Uh, you see one very large star, which is the um, probably a pulsar, which is so close that you could imagine it, it would be in the in a in a system nearby a star system nearby very close uh a marathon you can you can roll a navigation check if you wish when navigation. you're looking around the, the stars yep uh, the sky <clears throat> navigation yeah uh, you, you, it takes you a little bit, it kind of, uh, you, 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 you calculate it, um, and you, you find through calculations that actually there is, uh, um, a wormhole. This, this is not a pulsar. Uh, actually the star. Uh, has a wormhole inside of it, mm. and uh, this effect. I mean, you you, you come to a uh, sudden genius realization. It's like you you compute it in your head. It's, it's a a strike of brilliance. Uh, you 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 have no idea where it where, where it um, exits, but you're sure that uh, even a small ship like a shuttle can exploit it. You can jump through the sun. Oh. <clears throat> so basically it it's it's it, there's a wormhole right in the center of the star that this planet's orbiting? Is that what you mean? No, no, no the, <clears throat> the, the the next system. The oh, the system okay. which is the closest to you. If it was here <laughs> that that system We've been really fucked <laughs> uh, because of the radiation. But um, otherwise, it's a, it looks like a pulsar because it it opens and closes. Um, this this one called. That's why. You can you can exploit it. I mean, you're obviously you're. Um, you will be the navigator of the. So yeah, type it. Uh, the system, the systems, the star is called uh, Zebra 
three five nine. Debra three five nine. Yeah, pulsar star. Cool. Everyone knows it's a pulsar. Star. I mean, uh, only someone who's who's staying that close and uh, has a st <laughs> stroke of genius. Uh, they they could. <laughs> and and you did it and you did it without using navigate navi computer. Mm -hmm. Basically, use your brain because you're you're highly highly autistic, and uh, you're obviously you're <laughs> obviously a walking PTSD <laughs> because his character actually is a walking PTSD. PTSD <laughs> for him is is normality. Uh, and if you, you should, it, you should... then I would need drugs. Yeah, then I would need drugs, but. Uh, <laughs> But basically, from from what we we stitched together as a backstory, uh, what he gave me as an idea is like his his character was taken as a baby by the Alaska pirates and chained, graph chained in uh, their power uh, armor construction area on the ship, and he had to work there. Uh, for the rest of his natural life, but he escaped. Well, not before he survived a lot of shit. And got good with Mecca. Oh, yes. Yes. So then I murdered my pirate overlord. I murdered him and, and stole leaf. his gun. Huh? <laughs> yep. With a stick and a leaf. Uh, let's say something resembling a high. Or like, or, or or a plasma torch, like the the easiest thing to kill someone is is with. Well, I mean, if he did it with the stick and a leaf from a mumpa tree, it'd be doable. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> the mumpa tree, yeah. Stick and a leaf, the special, the special improvised weapon. Yeah, sometimes those things are ones they are pretty pretty sneaky. Yep. Well, guys, I think uh, I think it's uh, enough for today.